I'm gonna wait for a while for Infantidate ourselves on Century Age of Ashes because there's some new stuff coming up that I wanted to talk about. First of all, I want to talk about this bad boy uh, behind my dragon here. Um, I had some uh, talking with some players on this game and uh, figure out that uh, this dragon is, yes, from the chest from Beta Rewards and it's not some people said it's not that rare because they've seen multiples in game but others were like i never seen this dragon before so that's why i was wondering why is it so rare but apparently it's just a skin from beta rewards and it's rare but not really i don't know it's like a bit confusing for this part but uh Apparently it's going to be in uh, the store as well, so people can buy it, uh, I think. But yeah, so far, I can, as I said in my last video, I did not see any other than mine. But yeah, uh, apparently some people saw uh, others with this dragon, so yeah. Apparently it's not that rare, but still not that common either. So yeah, I'm, a, kinda, I, I'm happy in a way to have this bad boy. So, um, I, recently the devs talk about um, New Dragons, a, a shop update as well. So we have this bad boy here, it will look terrifying actually. It's the S4, S Ford, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but I think it's this. The Ever Hunger is absolutely badass. The, this dreadful egg looked like nothing you had even sighted in your entire dragoneering life. The strangest occurrence, occurrence is that it was found lying outside a blood chaser's desk. Which a uh, blood chaser, I don't know what it, uh, what it is, maybe this? As if it was cast out, you are slowly grasping why this will be the case. So this is amazing dragon. Again, a blood chaser. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Maybe it's that version. I don't know. But maybe, maybe it's a hint from a new class or something. That would be cool. Imagine, oh, like imagine if this guy was like a vampire-looking dragon. <gasps> that would be so cool. Also, we have the Venfear, the Brit Bristol Dread. Dread. This guy looked badass as well. Look at him. Plug in deep slumber underneath the Algin temple. Then fear waited for the day it shall be reunited with the century guardians. Upon walking up, the creature was dismayed to find the temple had been sacred aeon ago. At the behest of Nerboring, jeez, sorry, my spelling, realms during the eventide. Zenfir went into such a fit of rage that to this day explorers still fear the avalanche triggered by its vigil, vengeful war. <gasps> oh, I love that they, pull, they put some stories behind each of them. That is so freaking cool. Look at him. Then he's back to Elsword. Okay. S4, sorry. sorry. So then we have. Uh, some of the dragons like this one, which is Sulpir Caves. It's like a black with some yellowish uh, stripes. It looks so good. Many amateurs will spend days searching in vain for this particular particular type of egg. The trick is to know that they are usually buried on upside down into the soul. Ooh. Once ready, the hatchling will dig out of the luminous shell to settle into a small burrow, on, only leaving it to live to hunt at night. Oh, so it's a ne nocturnal dragon. <gasps> Look at that glowy eyes, that's so cool. Then we have the Scorched Frontier. Do I have this dragon? Oh no, I don't. Because I thought he was the like the cold one. Okay, never mind. That you have a, like a orange belly. Mountain by legionnaire positioned in, on the desertic Algerini borders. This specimen is said to use sunlight as an energy source. Ooh, okay, 
While valuable, this ability makes it difficult for riders to make long halt in umbrageous location, an unquestionable necessity in the scorched region. Oh, that is an interesting one as well. I love the, these, these little stories so much. This is so my kind. Ooh, background. Detect, thank you. And we have this silver scale, which is new in the store. That looks like it's really, really good. Look at Dragon Varmig. Varmig. Nicknamed Silver Skin. Spark a dream of rich for, of for many hunters all across the continent during the Age of Madness. Ooh. But it was famed marauder at Axur riding his steed to the top of a thundercloud who defeated the beast after a three day battle. Wow. That cost him his right arm. At death's door, he spent his last day rest rent relentless. Uh, relentlessly, sorry, shaping his this shed from shield, sorry, from the metal hide from his mortal enemy. That is so badass. That is so badass. I love it. I still love it. This is a new helmet for the Phantom uh, Dragon Ear. After the slaughter of this community, of their community, and the takeover of Dragon Ear Ring by Belikov's kingdom. Survivors of the Nairdor sect assembled, assembled. Repenting for their mistake, they vowed never to show their face again until their foe were eradicated. A similar helm was worn by some of their early phantoms, the red color representing both the blood spilled in the past and that yet to be spilled. Oh my gosh. Like... I always love games like that that put little story behind characters, gives something so special to each character and each game. Ooh, a little armor for the, the wing guard. The regulation armor is a legendary, legendary, ner, ner, <laughs> mounts all across the kingdom, forged in the capital for more than three centuries. The arpen uniformity of the Keldian army gave birth to its informal soul bracket, the Iron Flock. It's so cool. Like, it's not, it's not only a game, you know, there's a, a story behind it. That's what is awesome. I don't know if you can. Nah, okay. I was about to say that maybe there's a story behind these as well. But nah, sadly. And no, I don't have the, the back, sadly. I wish, but. Uh, Maybe one day, maybe one day we'll be able to buy one of these. That would be so cool. But yeah, uh, about the best story, you, if you guys want to have a bit more of the stories, you can read about all of these dragons and... You know, like, look at this. Look at the map. Uh, can I look at the map, actually? I don't think I can. But all the stories behind all these are so freaking cool. Oh, also, yeah, the... This... I think I like this one. Um, but yeah, and also uh, the, they've shown something that is coming up really soon that I will show you. what I was talking about, a uh, frozen furry that is uh, like pack or an update or something like that. It is coming soon. Uh, it's going to trigger the January you will be able to update during this event. So Al Dragon. The realm guard, which is the wing guard, which is this one. Look at them, it's so badass looking. Carvar, the frozen arrow, the marauder, which is this one. I, I, I want this one. I'm mostly um, marauder, so I want this guy, please. <laughs> and Zordir, the silver red shade, the phantom, which is this guy. He look absolutely badass as well. So this is coming, I think it was uh, December 16th, I think it was starting to finish it January 2. You could be wrong, but I think it is exclusive to the event. So yeah, they are exclusive to the event, so I hope, I really hope I will get the Marauder. But either of them is so cool, so uh, any 
really but this one please I want this one <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this uh, little store update about sensory um, I really can't wait to record more of this uh, soon update I will, that's for sure I will uh, record the event for the frost and flurry and I will see you guys in the next one Bye.